How's it going YouTube? Balls and Cock here with Quantum's Web Autobot Alliance. I am testing out this new bot, uh, Slog. He's one of the Dinobots. He is a warrior, and uh, as you can see, as with most warriors, he has higher health than uh, most bots, a little bit lower damage. Um, his special ability is called a seismic charge. It targets a wall with a resonating seismic charge. The explosion deals 26 damage for each wall within the radius and quadruple damage to walls. So it hits, sounds like it hits walls and other objects as well. So it does four times damage. It does 26 damage for each wall within a radius. So if you have more walls within a radius, it actually does more damage. That's interesting. So I guess that's not going to be good for honeycomb bases and other bases that have a bunch of walls in a small amount of space. Um, let's check out his bio. Despite his plotting, lumbering gait, and bulldozer-like approach to anything in his way, Slog is a gentle and even shy bot at heart. But conscious of his bellicose fellow Dinobots and wary of their scorn, he keeps his sensitive side hidden. Slog's seismic footfalls have been known to cause <laughs> inadvertent landslides, which sometimes bury Slog and anyone nearby, making others dismiss him as clumsy and accident-prone. So, so this cat, just by watching, causes landslides, which uh, accidentally gets him and his friends buried under dirt or snow or whatever the hell he's stomping in. <laughs> That's the seismic charge, I'm guessing. So with that said, let's take him into battle and see what he's got. As you see, I paired him up with uh, all of his fellow Dinobots. <laughs> Look how awesome Drift looks. Cannot wait until that guy comes out. I'm curious of uh, what his special ability is going to be too. All right. So, these guys are not particularly strong, but this should be a formidably, uh, formidably base for them. Let's see. Let's see how formidable they are. I'm going to start with Strafe. And then send everybody else out, because I do want to test Slog's ability. So, they're all coming up to this wall. I'm going to hit the wall right about here with Slog. So, he shoots out a, what appears to be a type of mortar, and it decimates the walls. Wow. So he's taking a pounding from the beam laser up there, but seems to be holding his own. That's good. Beam laser still working on him. He's definitely a survivor. Alrighty. Well, he can take out walls. <laughs> that is a definite. So I'm guessing uh, with the higher level walls, I'm not sure if he'll be able to take them out the way he takes out these lower level walls. Obviously, uh, I'd have to level up and get him into some Zone 12 or Zone 13 battles, which is not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, not on this account, so... He might be good to pair up with somebody like Grimlock, who also also smashes walls. Or uh, maybe with Optimus Maximus or something. Use the seismic charge to weaken it, uh, some walls with uh, Slog, and then send out Optimus Maximus or, or one of these other bots that tend to smash through walls. Let me try, uh, I did Zone 5 last time, let me try Zone 6, see if we can get some heavy, uh, heavier walls, at least. And I'll zoom in on him this time. Uh, I'm going to try to send him by himself. I, I just didn't want to get him killed off in the beginning of that last match. You know what? I'm going to send these three this way. And then I'll send Slug 
by himself over here. Alright. So let's look at his normal attack. Looks like he just does a foot stomp. Oh, he's, he's going around. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and target these walls. So he fires like a mortar. He transforms into his bot form, fires a mortar deal, and then uh, decimates those walls. So the rest of my guys are dead. He's going to die off shortly here, but that is uh, pretty decent since he's only a, within the first 10 levels. He's definitely taking a lot of punishment, so he's probably going to be a pretty heavy-duty defensive tank, I'm guessing. Actually, uh, I think him and Slug, man, Slug and Slug, all of these names, name changes are kind of confusing. They name, like, all of the Dinobots besides Grimlock different names, so it's a bit confusing now. You have Slog, Slug, Strafe, and then Grimlock, which are actually... Wait, slugs. So there was sludge, <laughs> swoop. Uh, now I'm forgetting all of them. Anyways, so let me look at uh, his defensive capability next to slugs. See, as you can see, they're about the same level. Well, one's a four star, one's a three star, so that could be the difference. Slug has 1,730 health, 23.1 DPS, whereas Slog has over 2,000, 2,110 health, 27.1 DPS. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the four star version to compare them to. The closest thing I have is. Optimal Primal, like Optimus Primal. Let's see. And he's already level 16, so it's not really a fair comparison. But, I mean, still 2,750 health at that level. I think he's almost twice as much as Slog now. Yeah, over. So Slog might have more health in the long run, it looks like. Uh, overall, might end up being a decent tank guys as far as uh, absorbing damage so gotta love the Dinobots no matter what and anything that helps with those time trap bases that's always a plus in my book so I'm going to go ahead and do one more battle with him uh, this time I'll actually try to win instead of just showing him off so that way we can see how well he works with the team I did pick a zone that was above the recommended level so We'll see if these guys can handle it. Probably not, because I do have a couple of bots that are not even level 10 yet. So I'm not really thinking I need Slog's ability right now to win this. So I just want him to tank and absorb some damage. I wonder if I could target other things. I tried to... Okay, see, just now, I used his ability. I targeted that beam laser, but it ended up auto-targeting the wall. <laughs> so, so don't do that, folks. Whatever you do, you don't want to try to target defenses. That probably cost them the win anyway. Look at that. They're all dropping like flies now. Could have used strafe and probably uh, been okay, but... So, lesson learned. You don't want to use slogs, seismic... Uh, stomp on a defense because it'll automatically auto-target the nearest wall and that's not really going to help you at all unless you actually need to get through that wall. So I would say he's just a defensive tank and if you happen to be in one of those situations where you need to smash a wall, he's your, he's your bot. Alrighty. Uh, but as far as his health, he does look like he'll be a, a beast of a defensive tank because I think he's going to be able to absorb some major damage from the looks of it. I'd love to see one leveled up, so we'll see how it goes. 
All right, folks, have fun with the event. I wish you all the best in getting this guy, uh, and uh, I'll catch you later. See ya.